stories ever told Have a hero who must be bold They learn a sense of right and wrong And better learn the sense through song Musicals tell the impossible Chronicle a story so astronomical The last remaining story to tell The guy who didn't like music Didn't like, didn't like, didn't like, 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 didn't 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 like,
られ、it's cuddle night. <laughs> well, what do you mean, so what? The counselor says we should do it at least once a month. <laughs> yes, but, yes, but, honey, we, we skipped last month. Well, don't you think I'm tired too? All right, maybe tomorrow night then, huh? No, 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 you're right. We should stick to the schedule. Next month it is. All right, well, you take care, Sam, and Sam, be careful because I love you. Sam? Huh. How's Sam? He's doing just fine. Townsend's working out real swell. Oh, oh, uh, Charlotte? I'm sorry, you can't smoke in here. Huh? Oh! I didn't even realize. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go get some coffee for beanies. Anyone wanna come? Bill? I can't. I gotta keep refreshing this web page. <laughs> See, I got Alice for one more night before she goes home to Clivesdale. Her mother, just to make me look small, took her all the way to New York to see Hamilton. Ugh. And she loved it. So, to prove to my ex-wife that two can play at that game, I'm on hot ticks right now. And the moment more become available, I'm getting two tickets for tonight. Because guess what, Paul? It's finally here. At the old Starlight Theater in downtown Hatchetfield. The touring production of Mamma Mia! <laughs> Wow, she'll like that just as much as Hamilton. It's a musical. Mm -hmm. Hey, you want to tag along? Alice will get a kick out of it. Remember when you used to babysit her, drive her to school? Yeah. She thinks you're cool. Maybe you could talk me up a bit. Let her know her old dad's pretty cool, too. <laughs> Bill, no. <laughs> Sorry. You got other plans? Uh, no. So you'd, you'd rather do nothing than come with us to see Mama Mia? Bill, I'd rather do anything than go see Mamma Mia. The idea of sitting there, trapped in a musical, that is my own personal hell. I'm trying to reconnect with my teenage kid and you're just gonna leave me hanging? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, but hey, I'll grab you something from Beanie's. My treat. What do you want? I just want my daughter back. Have a nice caramel frap. Nothing better. Hey, you going to Beanie's? Yeah. You didn't invite me? Sorry, Ted, do you want to come? No, 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 no. <laughs> I don't want to show you up, yeah? What do you mean? Paul, come on. I know why you walked that extra block instead of just going to Starbucks across the street. I don't want to give my money to some corporate chain. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You sure it doesn't have anything to do with that cute little barista over there? Huh? That's not the reason. Yeah, the uh, latte hotte. She's uh, known throughout the land, right? No, it's like, my wife, <laughs> right? It's like, boy, All right, right, hey, give me a chai iced tea, eh? Hey? Eh? Hi, can I help you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I get a grande caramel frap and a venti cup with 10 pumps of hazelnut, three shots of espresso, no caramel drizzle with whip on top? Sure, that'll be 550. Jesus, fine. Hey. Yeah. I just tipped you. Oh, well, thank you. Aren't you supposed to sing? The sense is tip for a song. Um, yeah, um, that's like a new thing. The owner went to Cold Stone Creamery over the weekend and brought back the whole singing thing. But, you know, there's a line and people are working. I don't want to disturb anyone. <laughs> I don't care. I just tipped you. Come on. Okay, well, did you do that to be nice or did you do it to be an asshole? Fine, I'll take it back then. Oh, no, what am I gonna do without that dollar? I have to split with five other people. You know what? I'm never coming back here again. That sign's bullshit. Oh my God, it's so mean. <laughs> Emma, what's the deal over here? That guy just flipped out on me for practically no reason. She wouldn't sing for him. <laughs> And I still haven't gotten my hot chocolate. Oh, sorry, I'll get right on that. I have very low blood sugar. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sorry, sir, we'll get you a voucher. Jesus, Emma, come on, I already warned you twice. It's embarrassing, Nora. I mean, God, maybe Zoe's okay with the whole singing thing because she majored in theater. 
I think it's a really fun idea, Nora. Why aren't you working? Oh, I'm on vocal rest? What? I'm on vocal rest. <laughs> god damn it, Emma, now I need to make a tea with honey, okay? Oh my god. Look, can't Zoe just do the singing? I don't like it. Huh. Okay. So then you must not like having a job here then. Mm. You know what? Just don't even bother showing up for your next shift. What? Are you serious? Wait, 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 wait. I, I will do the singing. Yeah, you will. Now move your ass, you got a line. Hi, can I help you? Uh, yeah, I got an easy one for you. Just a cup of black coffee. <laughs> Jesus, really? I've been brewing up Oh, no, 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 uh, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, no, uh, I don't need you to sing. I just tipped because, you know, uh, uh people should tip. <laughs> well, thank you. I mean, because if I have to sing for it, it's not really a tip, right? <laughs> it's just like I have another shitty paying job on top of my already shitty paying job. Because, I mean, most of my tips are less than a buck. So, after the split, I'm making, like, not even 25 cents a song. That is less than a fucking jukebox. Only a jukebox doesn't also have to make coffee for these assholes. Or, not that you're an asshole. Well, maybe you are. What'd you tip? Five bucks? You meant this just for me, right? Like, I don't have to split this with anyone? Oh, no, that's for you. I don't give a shit about them. <laughs> it's very sweet. God, I'm just so sick of Nora and Zoe, who is technically my manager, even though she is 10 years younger than me. Ugh. She hired all of her little theater friends, and they will not shut the fuck up <laughs> about some shitty production of Godspell they did last summer. Oh, that was the one at the rec center, right? I think I had to see that. Ugh. I did not like it. Yeah. <laughs> it sucked, right? Yeah, yeah, they shouldn't call it Godspell, more like God awful. Yeah, or like, God damn, that was bad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like musicals. Uh, watching people sing and dance makes me very uncomfortable. Oh. Well, then why did you come to the singing coffee shop? You know, there's a Starbucks across the street. Oh, uh, well, you know, uh, some things are worth it. Like, uh, damn good coffee. <laughs> I see you in here all the time, don't I? What's your name? Paul. Hi, Paul. I'm Emma. Excuse me. <laughs> I have been waiting a very long while. Sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, uh, bye, Emma. <sighs> Emma. Oh, shoot, I forgot Bill's caramel frap. Ah, fuck Bill. Hi, can I talk to you about saving the planet? No. Do you, um, do you have a few minutes to talk about saving the planet? Uh, hello. Hey. Uh, hi, are you interested in saving the planet? Uh, uh, yes I am, but I just got off work. Well, you know, I... it'll just take a few minutes. It's for the planet, so. Yeah, I just want to I... tell you about how you can contribute to Greenpeace's efforts all around the globe. Oh, Greenpeace? Yeah. You know what? I I'm actually already signed up with you guys. I already give. Oh, well, that's really generous of you. Do you know about our new campaign to save the sea turtles? Yeah, yeah, I've been getting the emails, been reading all about it. Really? Uh, yeah. the campaign that doesn't exist, the one that I just made up? You don't give to Greenpeace, do you? You know that money you're raising? You know how much of it actually goes to the turtles? Well, none of it. I just made that up. That's so. right, none. It goes to line the pockets of some corporate bigwigs. I give my money directly to the people who need it. Oh, spare change for the homeless? Sorry, I don't have anything. <laughs> wow, you're a real humanitarian. And you come on a little strong with that whole save the planet bit. As if I'm gonna do that single-handedly. Well, you know what? What is... that? to Betsy. There's some kind of terrible storm out there. Hope Sam's all right. Fuck Sam. <laughs> Come back to bed, all right? All right, Ted, but this has to be the last time. Sure, Charlotte, just like last time was the last time. If you don't like what we're doing here, there's the door. Oh, God, cherry on top of an already perfect day. Zoe, you need a ride? In your shitty car? Yeah, I'd rather not crash and die. It's fine, thank Great. you. Excuse me, ma'am, but I got a warrant to inspect the junk in your trunk. Ugh, Sam, you're such an asshole, okay? 
That uniform is so fucking sexy. Hey, uh, I have a little present for you. These two tickets to Mamma Mia. No way! You got them?! I never miss a musical at the Starlight, and if anyone thinks that makes me less of a man, they can talk to my fucking gun! <laughs> Hell, it's raining cats and dogs. Are you sure you don't want me to pick you up? Okay. Yes, I got a ticket for Deb, and after the show, we're gonna go to your favorite restaurant. Red Lobster! Yeah, I know Deb's a vegetarian, they got fish. <laughs> Vegan? Uh, it's Crab Fest! Alice, you're killing me! Look, she doesn't have to if she doesn't want to, okay? Oh, come on, Deb, that's not how it works. You're either in the smoke club or you're out. <laughs> okay, well then maybe we're out. Come on, Alice, these guys are assholes anyway. Whoa. What's that coming to the club? Been waiting in the wings. The stage is set. It's showtime. This is the morning Hatchetfield news with Dan and Donna. They said he wouldn't make it, that he had fallen from too great a height. But this little guy beat the odds and captured our hearts. Now weighing in at almost 10 ounces, peanuts. The Hatchetfield pocket squirrel has outgrown his adopted father's pocket. Peanuts! <laughs> Luckily, proud Papa Ed has been squirreling away on his GoFundMe page to build peanuts his very own, get this Dan, squirrel house. <laughs> That's amazing. And something else has fallen to the ground here in Hatchetfield, this time from outer space. The meteor came... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. How's it, Sting? Seems like a lot. Or... Hey, did you say... Oh, you again. Look, I'm not a bad guy, okay? I've given to charity for the past. Hey, yeah, I have this typical day. What? Got me feeling in a beautiful way. No rhyme or reason, we can sing a duet. Dance a style or two, or I'll make you a bet. Just a smile will do. Sometimes I just want to shout on top of roofs and mountaintops. All the world is paved in gold. I'll see with Greenpeace too. Yesterday was retroactive. Got myself a new perspective. I'll strut it up and down the road. So I throw my worries and my old skin away. Oh, sorry, man, I don't have anything. Hey, man, that's all right. Because I may not have a home, but that's way okay. Because I prefer to roam the streets all day. The world is my house. The dogs are my food. Oh, look, a new blouse. And a new trash to do. I used to want to kill them all while high on mass on zombie trucks from stacking on a dead man's face. What? But that just feels like yesterday's song Takes all the pain away My politics and house feels changed Dancing on the concrete Used to hurt a lot But now I got new feet And this jam just way too hard Hey, thank, thank you. God bless you, man. Sorry. Um, uh, what's happening? I'm very confused and concerned by all of this. I... Do you want to save the planet? Don't you want to save the planet? Do you want to save the planet? There's just one way you can do it. By singing a song. 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 
is 18. She's a senior. She's got her own life. But I only get my daughter for one week a month, and she wants to spend that whole time with her girlfriend, Deb. So I say, bring Deb along. We'll all go see the show. <laughs> and would you believe it? We get there, and the whole theater was exploded by a goddamn meteor. <laughs> Mamma mia! <laughs> Huge hole right through the marquee and everything. I, can you believe that, Charlotte? Sh 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 Charlotte, you, you, you got enough coffee and the sugar? Huh? Oh, I didn't even realize. Sorry, I'll make another pot. Coffee and the sugar. <laughs> Bill, you're a riot. <laughs> coffee and the okay. sugar. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hey, guys. Uh, is today some kind of, uh, I don't know, Canadian holiday or something? Like, uh... <laughs> International Music Day, or... Not that I know of. Because okay. I just, um... <laughs> I just saw some people uh, uh, dancing and, s and singing like they were in a, a musical. Uh, there was this homeless guy and this very rude woman from Greenpeace doing this whole choreographed number. Like a flash mob? Yeah. I mean, what else could it have been, right? Well, did you get a video of it? No. <laughs> You're fucking useless, Paul. <laughs> Yeah, I, I just have a bad feeling about all this. Uh, Charlotte? Huh? Have you noticed anything strange? What? No. Oh, it's silly. Um, it's just, um, it's Sam. What? My husband. Um, he said he was coming home late last night. <laughs> he didn't get home at all. But <laughs> <clears throat> uh, I heard I wasn't there. He must have rolled in around him six this morning. He was in the shower when I woke up. I could hear him. He was singing. And well, I know this is a strange thing to realize because, well, but Sam's not a, a, a bad singer. He's just always been a little flat. <laughs> but not this morning. <laughs> Today, he, he sounded like an angel. <laughs> and I don't know why, but it, it frightened me. <laughs> it just, it didn't sound like my Sam. Oh, I must sound silly. I'm probably just imagining things. Hey. Sh Charlotte? <laughs> Do you remember what Sam was singing? Um, it, it was just a, a silly little song. Um, and something like a, um, la, di, da, da, day. Paul, Mr. Davidson wants to see you in his office. Oh, shoot, I forgot to hand in my weekly reports yesterday. I'm gonna get it. Oh. Hey, Mr. Davidson. I think I know why you called me in here today. My weekly reports were not turned in yesterday. Not because they're not done. They are done. There's a problem with the printer network, you see. You try to print something over here, it gets sent over there. I bet my report is sitting in someone else's printer tray right now. You give me to the end of the day, I can find it. Not do it. Uh, I, I, I wouldn't just not 
do my statistical analysis. <laughs> that would really gum things up here in the office, and that's the last thing I want. <laughs> what do you want, Paul? Excuse me? Tell me what you desire to see, your deepest intent, Paul. <laughs> what do you see for this company? I'm looking for someone with strong ambition. Someone to sell their specific vision. Someone to share with precise precision their thoughts. Cause I want you to want. <laughs> to want. So what do you want, Paul? <laughs> What's that one concrete goal that motivates all your actions? I don't think I have one of those. Well then how's anyone supposed to sympathize with you, Paul? I don't know, I want money, a partner. I want you to want, Paul. A man so vague just can't be trusted. Something you pine for. Mr. Davidson? Maybe someone who keeps you lusted. I'm just a boss, I'm not an idea guy. I hire you balls to keep our stock high. But if you can't pin that point that's in the sky, then I want you to want. To want. Do you know what I want for myself? Okay, I've waited for so long to tell somebody else. Carol, my wife, you're my muse, my source of light. Carol, my love, I want you to choke me out at night. Uh -huh. I want you to choke me. This seems like a private moment. I want you to choke me. Like, who is this for? I want you to choke me while I... Jerk off. I want you to choke me while I jerk off. <laughs> Melissa, get my wife on the phone for me. Mr. Davidson, I think I should leave. No, Paul, I want you to hear this if you leave, you're fine. <laughs> Carol, yes, everything's fine, I promise. I just uh, wanted to tell you something. I, uh. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh... I forgot what it was. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll remember. Goodbye. <laughs> the primary plot so take up yoga or improv classes volunteer at shelters or twitch to the masses there's gotta be something that'll keep my hands off you off you because i want you to want mr davidson i'm gonna get some coffee you want anything no i need you to want have a nice careful prop nothing better and if you don't want <laughs> we're through Better yet, you're still dreaming. You need to wake up. You need some coffee, that's it. Just a nice cup of black coffee. Nothing in it, no cream, no sugar, just black coffee. Hello? Hello? Please, God, I just want a black coffee. Black coffee, I'm your coffee guy. No! No! Not you too, Emma, please, God. Okay, okay, I'll stop. Oh, I didn't forget. You're the guy who doesn't like musicals, Paul, right? <laughs> Emma, you're talking to me. Like a normal person. Uh, yeah, and if my boss catches me, I'll get canned. Uh, new company policy, not only do we have to sing when people tip, but when they enter, when they order, all the time, apparently. Emma, I think there's something terribly wrong with the world today. Yeah, fucking tell me about it. <laughs> Spent the entire morning learning some dumbass new tip song. I'm exhausted. You... Emma? 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 <laughs> I feel like there's something 
sinister, infecting Hatchetfield. And I know this is gonna sound crazy and not very scary, but it is scary <laughs> if you think about the implications. <laughs> promise me you'll think about the implications. Okay, okay, I promise. Okay, Emma, I think the world is becoming a musical. Um, Don't say I, anything. Uh, Let it sink in. Okay. Okay, now, are you frightened? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think I am starting to get a little frightened. Yeah, I should be. Right, you just down and Emma! Tim! Oh, thank God. Sorry, Paul, I gotta do this dumbass tip song. Oh, sorry. Get your cup of roasted coffee, your morning cup of joey. We'll make a jam and cup of java mocha latte with the froth for you, Jack. Frappuccino with a freshly roasted mung beans. It's a caramel drizzle mud in a cup with a drip, 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 and we'll bring it right up. Hey, Mr. Business, how do you do? Can we get a triple for you? Decaf? What? Decaf? What? Did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. And we'll bring it right up. Oi, oi, oi! job, I signed up to serve coffee and cold, shitty pastries. If I wanted to be in a musical, I'd be in a damn musical. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Zoe. I was in Bregadoon in high school and I fucking killed it. <laughs> but now, I'm just trying to make ends meet while I work my way through community college, and I can do that just as easily <laughs> down the street at Starbucks. I quit. You, you can't, can't quit, quit, Emma. Yeah, I sure as hell can. <laughs> the song is so simple. We'll teach it to you. Why, everyone here will be singing it soon. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> They've all had their coffee. Their apotheosis will be upon them at any moment. Wait, what did you do to their coffee? <laughs> Fucking gross. Get your cup of poison coffee. What is this? What is this? Your toxic cup of joey. What? We'll make a twisted cup of java mocha latte with the goo for you, Jack. Jack, Jack, Jack. Hey, Mr. Business. How are you? How are you? How are you do? They're singing. Why are they all singing? We need to run, Emma. Hold back. Just run. We'll make a double for you. Hey, Mr. Business. And we'll bring it right up. was it to line an alleyway with tons of shrubs? No. I heard it was like, at one point they were gonna make it into a park. And what? Yeah, they, they were gonna make it into Listen, a park and they just stopped. Paul, there are a th lot of dead ends around here. I just wanna make sure you, you know where you're going. No, or, yeah, so. Are you? There's a dead end here, oh, okay. so. Uh, I'm sorry, just go the other way again. All right, fine, fine, fine. fine. So, uh, I know this is probably a bad time, but, uh, Oh, uh, what do you like? Do you like film? Yeah, you know what? That is, it like... is a bad time. For that. <laughs> wait! Paul. Oh, wait, an alley. How yeah, did I miss a, that? The, 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 the trash cans. Okay. Go. Right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What the fuck was that? I told you it was scarier than it sounds. You were right. I didn't think about the implications. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't think about it. 
Emma, 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 shh. It's all right, okay? It's no! Not. It's not all right, Paul! Bill! You scared the shit out of us. Well, how the hell am I supposed to pop out of a trash can and not scare the shit out of you? I don't know. Give us a warning or something next time, you know? Ah! Charlotte! Sorry, I tried to warn you. Oh, my God! <laughs> these people? They're my friends from work. What are they doing in the trash? Well, we had to find a place to hide. Mr. Davidson's kept calling people into his office and they kept coming out singing. It was the same at the bank, the butchers, and the post office. It's all downtown. We were just at Beanie's. Ah! You didn't invite me! Jesus, Ted! Shh, shh, shh. Shut the fuck up, Paul! All right? If you want to stay in our hiding spot, you gotta be quiet, all right? There is something going on and we don't know what it is or who we can trust. So, Paul? Get in a trash can. You beat it. Uh, fuck you. No, no, Emma stays with us. I don't know her. Yeah, you do. She's the, she's the barista from Beanie's, the, you know, the, the, the latte hotte. Paul, that is not the latte hotte. That's the crabby one who won't sing when I tip her. You grabbed the wrong one, you noodle. Fuck! <laughs> oh, oh, thank God. They're here. I, I called Sam. He'll get us out of this. Sam, sweetheart. Sam, baby. Oh, Sam, thank God you're here. They've gone crazy. Everyone's gone crazy. <laughs> I need you to take a step back. Huh? You're facing the law, not the clerk at the get -up. Yeah, we're cops. Oh. Yeah, we're cops. You better shape on up. Get away from Charlotte. He's one of them. Oh. You better empty out all of them pockets. But don't empty out all of them pockets. Yeah, we're cops. Yeah, we're cops. And we make sense. <laughs> Show me your hands. Show me those jazz hands. Get them up or you'll end up in cops. Show me those hands, show me those jazz hands, or I might be inclined to shoot you up. Okay, look, in my ID's in my back pocket. You go 40 in a 35. Take your mirror, and you'll find hell has arrived. Cause we're cops. Yeah, we're cops. We're up in your shit. Kathy lost her cat in a tree. Contact five, not the HFPDE. Cause we're cops. Never cops, her cat is dead. Show me your hands, show me those jazz hands. Get them up or you'll end up in cops. Show me those hands, show me those jazz hands. Or I might be inclined. Step away from the vehicle, step away from the vehicle. Get back in the vehicle, get back in the vehicle. Slowly get out of the vehicle, slowly get out of the vehicle. The things I say, I'm a cop. Get those Support hands up! Get those Support hands up! Put those Get hands up! Get those hands up! Get those hands up! Get those hands up! Get those hands up! Get the things I say, I'm a cop. 911 emergency call, got a 411 at a shopping mall. Better pack your heat utility belt. Any more rats coming in, hot they mail. Sergeant White on the 911. What the bitch wants, Sarge? She wants to know. Grab your 9 millimeter and sell enough bucket for my badge. Now I'm putting your mouth in. Suck it! Sweetheart, I'm your wife. Sam, baby, just talk to me. Charlotte. Sam? Show me your hands! Show me those hands! Get up! Show me those hands! Show me those hands! Show me those hands! Charlotte, right? 
I'm Charlotte. Yes, okay, listen. We have to get out of downtown, okay? Downtown is fucked. The hospital is downtown. We can't go there. But he needs to see a doctor. He needs to see a doctor. Sam, we gotta get Um, okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I know where we can go. I have this, like, kooky, reclusive biology professor. Professor Higgins! Yes, I'm his favorite student because I brought him groceries once. Anyway, um, he has a doctorate. That's kind of like a doctor, right? He could help your husband, probably. Um, and he's got like a lab in his house and his security, his whole house is like a panic room. He's like a, um, what do you call a guy that lives in a fortress? A king. No, no, he's like a, um, a doomsday survivalist. Yes, he thinks the world is ending. He's been preparing for the last 20 years for the apocalypse. The apocalypse? Is that what this is? Maybe we should go to a church. No, 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 Charlotte. We are all from different denominations, all right? We cannot split up. I am a Presbyterian. I'm not gonna die in your dirty ass Methodist church, all right? I say we go to the panic room and we beg for the king's help. Charlotte, I think the best thing for all of us, including Sam, would be to get to the professor. Yeah, well, let's go now. We can take the squad car. Uh, help me with him. I don't need to see him, thank you. This is Hatchetfield Action News with Dan and Donna. What began as a series of isolated incidents has escalated into what some are calling a musical riot. Good God! It's spreading faster than I theorized. Despite several reports of violence, the Hatchetfield police have assured Channel 9 that there is no cause for alarm. Because they're part of it, Donna! Nevertheless, our skittish neighbors in Clivesdale have raised the Nantucket Bridge. With the ferries down for the season and no accessible means off the island, Hatchetfield citizens are advised to stay indoors. Like fish in a barrel. <laughs> of course, the outside world is no help. It's up to us now, Alexa. Don't lie to me, whoever you are. I'm Professor Hitchens. <laughs> no, Professor, it's me, Emma Perkins. The whole town has gone crazy. I didn't know where else to go. Emma, you've come to the right place. Hold on, I'll let you in. Alexa, open the gates. Oh my God. Oh, thank you, Professor, thank you. Oh, these are my friends. This is Paul and them. Uh, <laughs> We came from downtown. Now listen, this is going to sound crazy, but everyone... Singing and dancing like a musical. They want you to join them, and once they get you, you're a part of it. Uh, yeah, how did you know? I theorized this exact scenario 30 years ago. <laughs> really? Really. Like exactly this? Exactly. <laughs> that the world would become a musical. You'd better believe it. Wait, so, so that's what's wrong with Sam? He's... Good God, don't tell me you brought one of them here. Oh! I told you we should have left him in the alley. You're a monster, Ted. No, he's a monster. All right, everybody, oh! calm down. <laughs> Providence has brought him to me. Quickly, cuff him to the chair. Make sure he's secure. There's no telling what would happen if he were awake and loose. I've been preparing for this day for decades. Now all of the answers are right in front of me. If only I have the wits to decipher them. All right. Oh. 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 Now, tell me, Emma, what on earth does that look like to you? Oh, God, um, I don't know, some kind of blue shit? <laughs> exactly, Emma. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> I'll tell you what on earth it looks like. Nothing. You all remember that meteor that crashed into the Starlight Theater last night? I dare say it carried a deadly cargo. A contagious pathogen of cosmic origin. Wait a second, Doc. Don't tell me you're talking about aliens. Why is that so hard to believe? Think of all that we take for granted now that was once foretold in the pages of Bradbury and Asimov. Uh, look no further than my robot assistant, Alexa. 
Once confined to the realm of science fiction, she is now science fact. <laughs> Alexa, dim the lights. <laughs> Extraordinary. <laughs> 20 years ago, I would have had to walk all the way to the dimmer. <laughs> now, as unbelievable as this or the outbreak may seem, the question is no longer can this be happening, but how do we stop it? I've got to get this blue shit beneath a microscope to find out what makes these bastards tick. Uh, sorry, Professor. This is a lot to take in. Uh, do you have anything to take the edge off? Like, a drink or something? <laughs> Young man. For the past 27 years, I have been stockpiling the bare essentials needed for human survival in the event of a world-ending cataclysm. You bet your ass we got booze. Come with me. <laughs> oh, Sam, baby. Oh. Come on, Charlotte. I'll make you a drink. We can relax, talk, fuck. Ted. I can't believe you're thinking about that at a time like this. The whole world could be coming to an end. <laughs> well, if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna go out doing the thing I love. Screwing around with another man's wife. <laughs> Ted, you're such a horny bastard. <laughs> uh. <laughs> always have been, always will be. And you know that's why I can't resist you. Uh, uh, Jesus. Yeah. Oh, oh, wait! Ted, my husband's brains fell out today. If I can't be a wife to him now, what kind of woman am I? I don't know, Charlotte, I'm not your therapist. <laughs> you know, maybe you should go back to fucking him, hmm? I know that's why you actually went to counseling. I mean, that's not the only reason. I wanted to make things work with Sam. I love him. I know I shouldn't, but I do. No, Charlotte, this guy is a scumbag, all right? You could upgrade to a sleazeball. <laughs> but you refuse to be happy. You know what, Charlotte, I'm done, all right? So you could stay here with your dying marriage and your dying husband. I'm gonna go hit on that crabby barista. Wait, no! Wait! Oh, God! Oh, God! God, if you're up there and you can hear me, it's me, Charlotte. Look, you just gotta know it. I didn't want any of this to happen. I, I love Sam, and I, I know we've had our problems, and I know I've been so angry with him lately, but, but I didn't want him to die. Please, God, just, just let him wake up. Just let him wake up. Charlotte. Oh, 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 Sam. Where am I? Why am I tied to a chair? Um, it's for your own safety, Sam, and ours. You're not well, Sam. Charlotte, baby, I'm hurt real bad. Um, I need a doctor. Um, uh, uh, I'll go get the professor. No! <laughs> They left me here to die. Only you can help me, Charlotte. Untie me, and we'll leave here together. Oh. I'm tied up, Charlotte. Oh, please don't do that. Tied up oh, no. with you. You understand me. Now hand me those keys. No. The keys to our youth. <laughs> God, we were young. Innocent and fun once and free. Let go of this grip on me. You tied up my heart. You tied me down. Now break me open with your love and mercy. The Charlotte, you're breaking my heart, child. Got my feet to the fire. Just let me go. And I love you. I love you too, Sam, but I, I cannot let you go. Charlotte, baby, apple of my eye. Don't you twist me. 
I effed up Charlotte, effed up with you. All the booze and harlots, and all the Charlottes, but they didn't count. They couldn't break me. You're the one who caged me in chains. Please take away my pain, Charlotte. Let me hold you again, Charlotte. Just free up my arms and I'll give you a foot massage, Charlotte. Will you ever forgive me? I'll crawl out my hands and knees if you untie me, girl, and free up my heart. I'm fading fast, I think you better come quick I really don't want to die alone in here Time to say our goodbyes at the end of the road Goodbye. Uh. No, no, say you'll be alright, just hold on This body is not gonna last, the air is cold and thick I'm losing my last remaining hope for us My hands are tied in knots and I can't come home I want to die in your arms in the evening Alone. What? Sam? No. Oh, what have I done? No, oh, what have I done? No. Oh, what have I done? Shut You brought me back to my dead child. My leg was in red. I saw God. Gonna free up your heart, baby. Yes, Sam. Yes, Sam. Oh my God! He said this was a full bar. How the hell am I supposed to make a Shirley Temple without any cherries? <laughs> Jesus Christ, Bill. It's the end of the world and you're gonna get your drink on with a Shirley fucking Temple? Well, if it's as serious as all that, I figured we might need a designated driver. <laughs> okay, so when the cops pull you over, you can pass their breathalyzer test before they infect you with their nasty blue shit? Come on! If you make one more crack at me, I am gonna do something to you. Oh yeah, Bill, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna kick your head. <laughs> oh. My head. Yeah. Not my ass. Yeah. All right then, let's see it, huh? Kick my head. <laughs> Come on, karate champ. I want to see you kick above your waist, all right? Show me that roundhouse. Show me that sweeping crane kick that your kung fu master taught you. Okay, you two, calm down. Ted, Bill's not going to kick your head. Why not? It's the most vulnerable part of the body. That's what Sensei Bill taught me. Okay, it was a dumb threat. Stop rubbing it in. I'm sure if he could do it over again, he'd say ass. Uh-uh, uh-uh. You know, if you want to kill a snake, what do you do, huh? You cut off its head. Where is the fish rot from? The head. Take out the head and the whole thing goes down. That's why a fisherman always goes for the head. Ow, come on, Bill, come on. Give me that. This is supposed to relax us, not make us kill each other. Whatever. Uh, why did I come back here? To, uh, drink? Back to Hatchetfield. I spent the first 18 years of my life trying to get out of this place. Should have just stayed in Guatemala. I mean, yeah, they've got volcanoes and cutamundis everywhere, but at What's least... What's a cutamundi? Oh, it's like a little raccoon thing. Now yeah, they get into shit, people hate them, but at least they don't sing and dance. 
So is that what drove you back to Hatchet Field? Kudamundi's <laughs> up in your shit? No, no. It was uh, my sister, Jane. She was the good one. Yeah, she had this um, Lisa Frank binder when she was little where she mapped out her entire life, and I <laughs> swear to God, she stuck to it. Bullet point by bullet point. It was like, job, husband, house, kid. And, you know, when one sister's so on top of her game, it kind of demands that the other one be a total fuck-up, right? What is yin without yang? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, man, she was off doing life, and I was doing something else. So backpacking, mostly. And she would call me and, you know, invite me home for the big events, you know, like weddings, baby showers. And I'd always say, oh, sorry, I'll catch the next one. But, um... Then when I got the invitation to her funeral, I was like, oh, there won't be a next one. No. Oh. I'm sorry. Hey, you didn't crash into her car. Anyway, uh, it's weird growing up in someone else's shadow because then when they're gone, the light shines on your life for the first time and it does not look good. So there I was, 30 with no roots anywhere except hatchet field. So I thought, well, um, I'm gonna make something of myself, you know, and do something my sister would be proud of. Enroll in community college, study botany. I'm gonna start a pop farm. <laughs> oh, did your sister smoke a lot of pot? No, but weed's the future. It's gonna be legal nationwide soon, bet you any money. <laughs> Not that it matters anymore. Man. My whole life, my one goal was to avoid dying in Hatchetfield. And here we are. Hey, it could be worse. You could be dying in Clivesdale. <laughs> Fuck Clivesdale. Fuck him. <laughs> you know, uh, all things considered, I like Hatchet Field. Mm. Yeah, I've been here my whole life, born and bred. Yeah. Never wanted to leave. Still don't. And yeah, we're the same age. How come I never knew you in high school? You probably went to Hatchet Field High. I went to Sycamore. Fucking Timberwolves! We hated you guys. We hated ourselves. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, back at Beanie's, you said you were in your high school production of Brigadoon. I, I was Bonnie Jean. Yeah, that was 2003, right? Mm -hmm. I actually saw you in Brigadoon. No shit. Yes, shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we didn't have a theater program at our school, so I guess to make us feel like crap, they bust us over to watch your show. It was the first musical I ever saw. Hmm. I hated it. <laughs> That's probably the start of my whole thing. You're the reason I don't like musicals. <laughs> Whoa, that's like your origin story. Yeah. So I guess I'm the supervillain. I don't think of you like that at all, Emma. <sighs> Listen, um, Paul. <laughs> oh my God. Charlotte. Charlotte. So good. It is time <laughs> to die.
shot a charlatan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the Charlotte you knew and loved was gone the minute a note came out of her mouth. After examining that blue shit, it didn't take long for me to decipher that Sam was no longer human, but part of the alien brew, genetically reconstructed from the inside out. They're wearing our skin to fool us. Which means any one of you could be one of them. Whoa, 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 whoa. So we're gonna have a little test to see who's still human and who's a musical <clears throat> doppelganger. Uh, what? I want you all to sing 16 bars right now. No, Professor. Professor, we're not aliens. Sing the beginning of Moana. What? what? Uh, I said sing, goddammit. Uh, uh, Moana. Moana. Make way, Moana. make way. Moana. Consider the coconut. <laughs> Consider its tree. Yeah, this is what we need. And no one leaves. All right, that was terrible. <laughs> Not a single one of you were on pitch, which means you're still human. These things, their, their tactic is to hide amongst us, and as their numbers grow, they become more bold and, as we've seen, violent. Alice? Alice? Oh, thank God, I've never been more happy in my life. Your mother left me and moved you to Clivesdale. What? No, no, Alice, I saw you get on the bus to Clivesdale this morning. What? Got off? Got off? To go see Deb? God damn it, Alice, if Deb jumped off a bridge, would you? Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I know you're scared. What, what, what's wrong with Deb? She's doing what? Alice? Okay, listen to me. You get away from her, you understand? You get far away. No, this has nothing to do with me not liking Deb. Right now you need to run and hide, okay? Where are you? No, no, you stay there. I'm coming to you. No, no, don't, don't you say. Everything's going to be fine. I love you too. Give me, give me some bread and some water. I knew we were gonna need a designated driver. What's happening, Bill? It's Alice, she's stuck in Hatchetfield. Dang it, I need to take the car. She's in Hatchetfield High, she's locked herself in the choir room. And you're gonna save her? G.I. Bill? You're gonna run and gun your way through a city of singing zombie motherfuckers? Wake up, Bill. She's already dead. Don't you dare, Ted! You're gonna get there, and she's gonna be dead, and you're gonna die too. And that's exactly what's gonna happen if you try to go back through downtown. Well, what else am I supposed to do? Don't go through downtown. Cut through Pinebrook. What? Pinebrook. Rich neighborhood, fancy houses, huge yards. Yes. Avoid densely populated areas. Now take Evergreen, cut through the park, hop a curb, and you're in the teacher's parking lot. Right, yes, and the window to the staff lounge is always open so they could smoke. Just slide in and out. It used to be my old escape route. Okay, okay, this is a lot of directions. Don't bother, he's gonna get lost. You are such a fucking creep, you know that? Oh, I'm a fucking creep? Yeah. I'm a fucking creep? Listen, sweetheart, the world has changed, all right? There are no creeps, there are no heroes, there are only people who are alive and people who are fucking dead! And Bill's daughter? She's dead. Well, I'm only saying what we all know is true, right, Paul? I know that the chances are slim to nil. And I know that Bill doesn't know the shortcut. Bill, if you go, you're not going to make it. Which is why I'm gonna go with you to get your daughter back. You, you do that for me, Paul? Hey, it's not like you're asking me to go see Mamma Mia. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, let's go. If we haul ass, we can be there and back in 20 minutes. No, Emma, you stay here. I have a theory on how these aliens can be stopped, but I'll need an extra pair of hands in the lab. Paul, Bill, Godspeed. Um, hey, Paul. Listen, 
If those things get you, they're gonna make you sing and dance and all that shit you hate. So don't you let them. Emma, there comes a time in every man's life when he has to draw a line in the sand. And I will never be in a fucking musical. <laughs> Be quiet, Paul, okay? We gotta find her, Paul. We will, but you're gonna have to shut up, all right? This whole school could be crawling with those things. You screaming is gonna get us killed. And then who's gonna save Alice? Right, right. Sorry, Paul, it's just, it's just all I have. I know. Just, just try to stay calm and follow me, okay? You know, she's a good kid, Paul. She's smart and I respect her choices, but if we're being honest, I don't like Deb. She's just, she's always on her phone, and I don't know, I just think Alice can do better. Yeah, this, sure, Bill. This morning, the knucklehead that I am, I said, why don't you try dating someone at your own high school, in Clivesdale? And she said, you just don't like Deb. And what was I supposed to do, lie? So I said, why don't you try dating someone like Grace Chastity? And she goes, no, Grace Chastity is a nerdy prude. And I said, one, I said date someone like her. Two, that is not a very nice thing to say. And suddenly, I'm defending Grace Chastity of all people. And she says, you just want Grace Chastity to be your daughter. And I say, well, at least she's nice to me at church. <laughs> and I think that fight is why she got off the bus to go see Deb. Oh, God, Paul, I'm the reason they trapped her. It's my fault. No. No, listen to me, Bill, okay? This is not your fault. Yes, it is. Alice? It's all your fault. That's the last thought I had before they broke down the door. I'm not your girl anymore. I'm not that tween that you drove here for. I'm not your girl anymore. I overtook her body with an infectious spore. You left me out of your sight for one second And look what happens, nightmare time It's worse than you could imagine Not sex and not drugs Just alien invading minds No more family vacays together Cause you're only daughters under the weather And if you actually paid attention to me You see I'm not Alice, what is going on? I'm not your ACT. Alice, I'm, I'm here to take you home. I, I... No matter what you believe, the apple's fallen far from the tree. It's not my fault anymore. No more curfews to be late for. It's not my fault anymore. No more being worried and waiting by the door. Did you know that I wanted to live with you? Oh, 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 oh. And when you needed to fight, you gave her that too. Right now. Back off, Paul. We're not leaving without Alice. That's not your daughter, Alice. Bill. Why does it hurt to love you? Why am I in pain? Why does it hurt to know you? You let me down again. If I turned my insides out, would you even know that I was there? Why does it hurt? Why does it hurt 
I'm not your girl anymore I can't do it, Paul. I can't live in a world without my daughter. Bill, I whatever can't. you're thinking, stop. I can't live knowing I'm the reason they got to her. No, Bill. No. No! Let me do it, Paul! No! Just let me die! Please. No, man! No! Bill, look at me. You're my best friend. I'm not gonna let you die. Oh! Bill! Oh God, Bill! We just keep running into each other, don't we, Paul? We have traveled across seas of stars, bounding, bounding, wait, what are we saying? We all have to say the same thing. Let's, Let's get, get on, on the same page. page. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> Bending countless civilizations to our will, yet you, Paul, have defied us thrice. Holy shit! This puny human weapon is too quick a death for you, Paul. We, we shall rend you limb from limb. You will chuck. You will die. Seriously, we all need to say the same thing. You guys are embarrassing me! Oh, come on! You shall choke on your agony as you beg for apotheosis! Oh, no! Get down on the ground for the army! Bam, bam, get out of here! Bam, 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 bam! All right, we're clear on the left. Here we go. Whoop, clear on the right. Grenade! Woo! Yeah! Wait, wait, wait. I I'm not one of them. I'm human. I'm yeah, prove it, asshole. We're the army. <laughs> Remarkable, simply remarkable. Tommy, Emma, how do you explain an entire race of beings spontaneously bursting into song and dance? How do they all know the lyrics, the, the choreography? I, I don't know, they're all getting orders from the mothership? You're not far off. What we're dealing with here is a collective consciousness. On one level, they are individuals, but on another, they are all appendages of a much larger organism, all connected by a central brain. And the brain came down in the meteor? Or it is the meteor. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, and so it wants to kill us all so it can resurrect us as part of its shitty musical? That's one way of putting it. You could also say it's uniting us in one common purpose. Think, Emma, if this entity were to spread to the entire planet, why, it could achieve what over 50,000 years of human civilization never could, world peace. <laughs> okay, but how do we stop it? Yes, of course, stop it. <laughs> Okay, um, all right, all right. So this all started with the meteor. It is the brain. So if we take it out, will all these things just die? That's a sound theory, Emma. Which is why it must never leave this room. What? No, 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 no! Don't no. fight it. Sorry for that knock on the head, son. You can never be too careful. What's your name? Uh, Paul Matthews. Good evening, Paul. My name's General John McNamara of the United States Military Special Unit PEIP. We call it PEEP. <laughs> PEEP? I've never heard of you guys. And you never will. Not a PEEP. <laughs> That's a joke, son. 
We have the uh, unenviable task of cleaning up messes of a certain nature. Situations not unlike what we have here in Hatchetfield. Are you saying stuff like this has happened before? Said so nothing of the sort. That information's classified. <laughs> However, our agents led us to believe the entire population had become infected with this alien contagion. So, quite frankly, we're all a little shocked to find a survivor like yourself. <laughs> but I got some bad news for you, Paul. My unit was sent to make a clean sweep of what was once your down. No loose ends, no survivors. Whoa, so you're just gonna kill me? Those are my orders, yes. Two in the head, one in the heart. But there's one thing you better hurry up and know about me, Paul. I love my country, I do. But the experiences I've accrued throughout my tenure with this organization have given me a deeper understanding of the cosmos and our place in it. I follow a higher law than any institution could decree, and that is the universal truth of love and the strength of the human heart. Would you like to do some light reading on the subject? <laughs> no, thank you. No, thank you. So I'm going to bend the rules a little bit for you, Paul. I have an evac chopper touching down in Oakley Park at 2300 hours. That's 11 o'clock in the PM. Synchronize your timepiece with mine. Oh, okay. Is that an iPhone? Yeah, it's 6S. I've had... Oh! Wear a watch. <laughs> Time is a precious thread in the fabric of the universe. It deserves its own tool of measurement. <laughs> you survived till 2,300 hours. There's a seat on that chopper with your name on it. Oh. Cool. Oh, oh wait, wait, General McNamara. Uh, I can't leave without Emma. <sighs> Who's Emma, Paul? <laughs> A friend of mine. Friends don't move my heart, son. Is there a chance at something more? <laughs> I think so. Uh, I'd like there to be. I want there to be. Well, then you know what that means. What? I'm authorizing you to use my firearm. <laughs> Rescue Emma and get your ass to that chopper in two hours' time. Thank you, sir. Don't thank me until we're both in Clivesdale sharing a cup of coffee. Do you like coffee, son? Yes, sir. Do you like musicals? No, sir. Now that's a goddamn red-blooded American. <laughs> I'll see you on the chopper! So, you're finally awake. Professor Higgins, what are you doing? Exactly what needs to be done. Alexa! Open the gates. Turn off the fences. Shut it all down. No, Professor, the, the fences are the only thing protecting us. Protecting us from what, Emma? From the end of the world? What's protecting us from nuclear holocaust, climate change, overpopulation, Emma? The world was already doomed. Not by them, but by us. I was trying to save something that could not be saved. Until now. But before we can be reborn into a better world, first, we must say our goodbyes. No, no, please. Alexa. After all these years in isolation with you as my one companion, I've, I've come to love you just as much as any woman of flesh and bone. <laughs> Which is why it pains me to have to do this. Alexa, initiate self-destruct. I don't think it can do that, Professor. It's 2018, and it can't even blow itself up! Fucking piece of shit! No, God. Please, please, Professor, just, just let us go, okay, I'm afraid I can't do that, Ted. Don't you two see? 
In order for humanity to survive, it must evolve. That's what this visitor from the star has brought us. Salvation. We must join them. This is our second chance. My second chance. Professor, think about what you're doing. Emma, did you know that long before I was a biologist, I had a much truer and deeper passion? Yes, my first love was, and always will be, musical theater! <laughs> God, no. <laughs> this guy's fucking nuts! After examining that creature you once called Charlotte, I made a fascinating discovery. These aliens, they, they possess a highly specialized gland that allows them to communicate through rhythmic frequencies. They're drawn to music, like a moth to the flame. No, 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 no. Please, don't fucking do it, please. don't you fucking do it! <laughs> This is humanity's 11th hour. <laughs> and I've prepared something for the occasion. Oh, God. No, 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 no. It's a show-stopping number, a real show-stopping a show-stopping number, come on. Something to shock them, to bring them a crawling, a big time box office draw. With the press and the glamour, we'll kill the review spotlight on Mr. Ingenue. So feel up your tumbler, got a show-stopping number for you. Please, Professor, if they hear us, they will kill us! A show-stopping oh number is something you die for. A real catchy, earwormy tune. An award-winning score. That seeps in and out of your pores. A ditty to make the chorus girl swoon. It'll unify humanity in a thundering chorus. No exits from this Broadway venue. So crash those shiny symbols. Got a show stopping him no for you. This song's pretty good, huh? I bet you didn't know I was also a composer. In fact, uh, while I've been preparing for the apocalypse, I've also been writing my own musical. <laughs> Do you mind if I give you the pitch? We don't have time. Fucking go for it. <laughs> it's called Workin' Boys, a new musical. It's the story of a group of old college chums, sure. They found success in the business world, but still, they long for the simpler times. In that beat up old house at the edge of college campus. But those glory days, they're gone for good. Or are they? <laughs> this here, this is the title number. This call time up to my ass and shit. What's this business? Markets are crashing and I'm at the edge of my wits. I just can't take it when all I want to do is spend that day with Craig and Steve and Stu and Mark and Layton and Chad. And ring, ring. The phone rings. I answer it. <laughs> oh, hey, Greg. I'm swamped with business. Stocks, bonds, golden parachutes. 
Remember those days on the football field, Greg? <laughs> Last week feels like ages ago. <laughs> Today, after work, on the football field, the old stomping ground, eh, Greg? <laughs> Just you and me. And Steve, <laughs> and Stu, and Mark, and Leighton, and Chad. <laughs> Five o'clock. I'll see you then, Greg. I'll see you then. you do is spend that day with Steve and by the clock can't come soon enough by the clock can't come soon enough by the clock can't come soon enough I can't wait to get home to my boys a show stopping number a real show stopper an aria to rule them all They'll throw us their money at full price admission. The world will come crumbling down. Hamilton, I'll move over. Your new competition's in town. Hey, Henry. <gasps> Greg, is it really you? No, Professor, that's not Greg. Been a long time. <laughs> hey, boys. You're ready to toss around that pig skin. Stu, you have an age today. Can it be five o'clock already? It must be. Come on, Henry. We got some catching up. Working boys, we're out to the last What is this business? Five o'clock can come soon enough. Okay, guys, I'm here. Oh. Shh, we gotta get out of here while they're distracted. Oh my god, should I take this chair? Yes. I'll get the piano. <laughs> yes, yes, make me one of you. Wait, no, ah. not my tummy. No. <laughs> Come on, guys. There's a helicopter coming to pick us up. We gotta get to Oakley Park and, oh shit, it's 10.52. We're gonna have to huff it. Wait, Paul, I gotta say something. Not now, Ted. Yes, now! Today, uh, today has, uh, has broken me. I'm ashamed of how I acted earlier. With Bill, oh shit, I wanted to abandon Erica back there. Emma. Gesundheit. <laughs> and Paul. I wish I could be brave, like you. Shut the fuck up, dude, we gotta you go. You see, I deserve any kind of abuse you guys want to give me, all right? Because I, come on. <laughs> I've been a grade A asshole. But I swear, all right, come on. I swear, I am gonna be a better person because today has taught me something. And it's, it's what's really important in this life. And it's the people you care about, you know? And Paul, I have always considered you one of my best Working friends. Working boys, oh, you're right. Okay, I'm just gonna run away from you. Okay, but back for you, coward. Hey, I said I'd be a better person. I'm still not a good person. Oh. I fuck that. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, all right. I just gotta get to that chopper. Just gotta get to that chopper. What? Oh, yeah! The military! Oh, yes! Over here! Over here! Oh, yes! Just save me! I'm the only one that survived! Everyone else is dead! Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, I tell ya! Oh, man! You guys are a sight for sore eyes! Uh, you know, 
I always support the troops. That's number one. Number two, I bleed red, white, and blue. I don't know what you've been told, but Americans should fit a mold. There's a war to be fought in this country against those that are far too bold. Two-party system, left and right, there's only room for right and wrong. It's you and me and me, you. The loudest become the strong. Yeah, we're great again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. America's great again. Whoa. Thank you, Emma. Oh, God, no. General McNamara, they got you too. Who's General McNamara? He was a good man. Sir, Sir it's Paul. What? Run, Emma, run. You can't run. Our borders are closed. Our borders are closed. You're staring down the gun. Oh my god. We have to get out of here. The helicopter's coming to meet us here. Because you're easily disposed. What are we supposed to do? Just go through the I don't, I don't know. The final solution. It's a charted course. It's the winds of our own evolution. Singularity had through a predestined self. Oh, oh, so that we may rebuild and experience a new construction. Yeah, we're great again. Whoa. Belts are for. Shit. <laughs> Emma, Emma, we're still in Hatchet Field. We need to get to the shore. We need, we need to find a boat or no! something. Oh, Paul, I can't make it. I'm not getting off the island. No, but Emma, those those things are gonna find us, okay? So you gotta, gotta fucking kill them before they do. The meteor. You gotta you gotta destroy the meteor, Paul. It's like your friend said, you know. The hive mind? Which friend? Bill, Ted, Charlotte? I don't know your friend's fucking names! Okay. You take the head out, the whole thing goes down. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, so I just need to get to the Starlight Theater, destroy the meteor, and all these things will just drop dead? Yeah, I sure as shit hope so. Okay, uh. you, you stay here and try to hang on. Hey, Paul? Um, I know why you came into beanies all those times instead of just going to Starbucks. And it wasn't because you liked our shit coffee. Or 
coffee was shit. Because we didn't care. And sometimes we would spit in it. And you might have drank my spit, but, but I didn't know you back then. And I wish I did. But anyway, Paul, if we get through this, I would love to just see a nice, silent movie with you. But in case we don't, kiss me. Okay. <laughs> That's all of it, though, so get back on in here. No, thanks. No, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right, fuck it. Get out of here. Okay, oh. bye. Oh. Did you hear the word? What's the, the word? word? He's a coming. Who's a coming? Paul's a coming. Paul's a coming. The star of the show. Let him come. Word? What's the word? He's a coming. Who's a coming? Paul's a coming. Paul's a coming. The star of the show. Let him come. The old Starlight Theater. There it is. The meteor. We've been waiting for you, Paul. Bill! Stay back! Watch out, Paul. He might kick your head. <laughs> and that would be a lotty da da da. Ted! Emma's boss! That's right, Paul. All your best friends are here. <laughs> We're happy now. We got what we wanted. No. No. Mr. Davidson didn't want to become a mindless alien slave. He wanted to be choked by his wife <laughs> while he jerked off. Well, I'm gonna put a stop to all this. I thought you didn't care about saving the planet. Back off, Greenpeace girl. I pull this pin and you're all toast. You wouldn't do that, Paul. I sure as hell will. And what about you? You die too. Is that what you want? It doesn't matter what I want. We think it does, Paul. And we want to hear about it. In fact, we think there's a song in you yet. What's in your soul? Is your heart so damp and bleak that you won't give us a peek of your soul? Just let it out. There's a voice inside of you on the edge of coming through. What's it about? And I know it's a singular voice, Paul. You've just got to give up the choice. Just let it out, let it out, let it out. Let it out, let it out, let it out. Let it out, let it out. Proximity to the meteor, Paul. The air in here is thick with its spores. Feel your apotheosis begin as they take root in your mind. Did you really think we'd let you kill us? You'll be one of us before you can pull that pin. What was that? You let it out. Was that a note? But just a sound. Am I finally coming round to a round scheme? Oh, God. Just stop it. I'm splitting too. Is this me? Or is this you? Am I dead? I'm coming apart. Am
I've never been happy Wouldn't that be nice? Is this the secret? Singing and dancing through life Is my integrity Worth anything at all? But happiness can't come before it's fall Am I crazy? Maybe I've always been Become what I've hated Or maybe I never did It's so freeing now To share the hate I felt But what will I let in If I let it out? Let it out! This is the morning Clivesdale News with Rachel and Rod. It's been two weeks since tragedy struck our sister city of Hatchetfield. Candlelight vigils line the streets as Clivesdale citizens try to make sense of this unspeakable loss. Every last man, woman, and child in Hatchetfield gone in the blink of an eye. A meteor and a ruptured gas line was all it took to wipe them off the map. But it will take much, much more to wipe them from our hearts. Is she ready to go? Mm. How's that leg doing, Kelly? Uh, yeah. Why did it have to be Kelly? I liked my old name. Couldn't you at least pick something similar, like Emma Lee or... That's all I can think of. That's a negative, Kelly. You'll get used to it. In the meantime, we can't have anyone making any connections between you and Emma Perkins, who perished in the Hatchetfield catastrophe. Yeah, that was the other thing. You couldn't even give me a cool death? Like, Emma Perkins, her, her flesh melted off while she was shielding children. You know, something heroic? <laughs> I mean, it was my idea to destroy the meteor, after all. And Uncle Sam is not ungrateful. Here, Kelly, this is for you. Inside, you'll find a new passport, social security card, and the deed to a five-acre plot of land in Colorado. Green, fertile, hell of a place to grow some cannabis. <laughs> Thanks. Um, Colonel Schaefer, you're sure there were no other survivors? We've been through this, Kelly. There were no survivors. Save for one pocket-sized squirrel we found burrowed into the chest of a local woodworker. Oh, peanuts! I'm glad he got out of there. <laughs> now that is a story we can disclose to the public. In the wake of a tragedy like this, a little bit of good news goes a long way. Yeah. It's just, um... Paul. He was a good man, Kelly. If not for his sacrifice, the outbreak would have spread to the mainland. It was contained in Hatchet Field, but if it had gotten loose here in Clivesdale, there'd be no stopping it. Goodbye, Kelly. Good luck with the pot farm. Thanks. Oh, and one more thing. You'll be escorted to Colorado by a Mr. Ben Bridges. He's waiting outside. Oh, I, I don't know any Ben Bridges. Well, according to our records, you two are very good friends. Peep would like to see it become something more. <laughs> Emma, I'm sorry you lost. Huh? Emma, I'm sorry you lost your way. Oh, you're scaring me. I'm what if I told you I made it? This is the laugh that I chose. Don't you want to see me happy? Is that 
you want now? Now I want you to join the party. Are you going to tip me? Get your cup of coffee. Look at the fun we're having already. What? Oh, oh, my calling, you can do the same now. But your words to lyrics and you're playing the game no, now. It's, it's all there what? is and all there was. Come on! Let me puke in your mouth and just stop. I'm in out of a home, but that's way okay. Cause I prefer to roam the streets all day. The world is my house, the dogs are my food. Oh, look a new blouse and a new trash can do. I used to want to kill them all the high on mass on zombie drugs for snacking on a dead man's face. But that just feels like yesterday. A song takes all the pain away. Politics and how speeds changed Getting on the concrete Used to hurt a lot But now I got new feet And this jam's just way too hard la da 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 la da 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 la da 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 la da 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 la da 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 la da 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 la da 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 la da 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 da
Day, la di da da day, la.